it's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. Um, now before I get started with this tutorial I am going to be doing my new type of uh, teaching technique for this tutorial. Um, so if you want to see what that's going to be you can go check that video out here. Um, now for this video as we are making a video that makes sound um, you will need a sound file and preferably um, from personal experience um, the .wav .aif and .caf uh, files seem to work best because that's what uh, Xcode seems to like. So um, as you can see here, I've got a WAV file, and um, yep, there you go. It's just a beep, um, and yeah, it's not very pleasant to listen to, but yeah. And uh, I'll put some sound website links in the description so you guys can jump along and get some sounds off there that you want. Um, so yep, let, without further ado, let's get going. I'll uh, create a new Xbox, Xbox, <laughs> create a new Xcode project, sorry. Uh, view based for iPhone's fine. And uh, I'm just going to call mine sound. Save it to the desktop. And before we do anything, wow, my computer's running really slow. Um, and before we do anything, we want to drag our sound file, just like an image, and drop it into resources. For this, I am going to copy it because I want to keep my sound file there. And um, yeah, just add it in like that. You can see it appears there. And also, we want to add a framework that will actually run the sound. Um, so to actually run the sound file, uh, you need to have the audio toolkit toolbox. Sorry, audio toolbox um, framework. So, so uh, to find that, if you go down here and find the frameworks folder. And if you right click on that, go to add and existing frameworks, you'll see this pop up. And uh, if we go down here and there's the audio toolbox framework. So if you double click on that, it should add it. And it's fine. Yeah, there it is there. Um, and to be able to use that, that framework, to be able to use it, we need to go into the, let me just expand the screen a minute. Um, so we need to go into the view controller.h and in the header where it says up here import, we need to import our um, audio toolbox. So to do that, we're going to do uh, pound. And if you don't know what that is, that's alt and then three. Well, that's what it is on my computer anyway, but yeah. Um, and then import and then open carrot. And it's going to be the audio tool, uh, not audio unit, audio toolbox forward slash audio toolbox dot H. And that should auto complete for you there. Um, and we don't need any outlets, we just need an action, which is going to be the button. Uh, so to do that, we're going to go down here, we're going to go open um, parentheses, IB action, uh, close parentheses, and then we're going to go play sound. And we can make that colon ID sender, like that. And uh, now we just need to copy and paste that, and go across into the .m. And we can paste this anywhere. And if you want your sound to start playing, say if you've got a song, uh, if you want your sound to start playing straight away when you open the app, um, you can put that in the view did low down here so you don't have the action. But uh, I'm going to have an action for this. And we're going to open the brackets. And now what we're going to do, we're going to put in a load of, um, well, not a load, but a couple of lines of code that will get the path or the file path for the resource so it's going to find the beep.wav uh, and then it's going to play it um, so that's it's quite simple really so if we uh, create an instance of the system sound which is um, what the audio toolbox has so we're going to go system no system sound id and we're going to call that the sound id semicolon then we're going to create an ns string which is going to hold our file path uh, so we're going to call that the sound file uh, because that this is now getting the sound file space equals space ns bundle main bundle and it's going to be path close uh, square brackets things a path for resource um, and then we're going to have the name of it so my name is beep dash one and then we're going to have here of type we're going to have open um, and we're going to have wav because that's the extension on the end so make sure in here you type the name of your file 
but if your file was called song, you type song in here, and if it was an AIF file, you put AIF there, but mine is beep.1 and is wav, so that's what I'm typing in. Uh, close bracket semicolon. And then we're going to actually tell the audio services to create the sound. Um, so I'm going to write that in, uh, so you don't have to see me type it out. And then I'll come back and I'll uh, explain it to you. So see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. And uh, as you can see, I've added two lines of code here. And uh, feel free to pause the video now and copy out this code. Again, all this code will be in the description. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to go through it here now. So what we're going to do, uh, first off, we're going to tell the audio services to get the system create system sound ID. So we're going to get the audio services toolbox that we imported. Then we're going to tell it to create a system sound. And then we're going to uh, create two parameters. And one is the CF URL ref object that gets the actual location of the file. So that gets uh, the location of our .wav file. And then we have the system sound ID that we use, which we made up here, to actually play the sound. Um, so what we're actually doing here with this CLURL ref thing, I can't say it, um, but basically what we're doing, we're then getting our file path that sound called sound file that we made up here. Um, so that was quite simple. We basically got the file path and then we used this line of code here to actually call the file path and the sound ID and combine them into one. Um, and then what we do, we then use audio services again, but now we're going to play the system sound and that's going to be the sound ID that we've got here. Um, so now if you wanted, you can build and run, put a button in an interface builder and build and run and uh, you should be done. Uh, but what I'm going to tell you, uh, teach you to do now is also create vibrations with your sound. Um, now that's like, say, if you've got uh, a message or something, and it will vibrate the phone when uh, they get a message. Um, obviously, I can't show this to you uh, because I haven't got my uh, iPhone with me, and I need to have the camera up and everything. But I am going to tell you how to do the code, and trust me, it does work. Um, so yeah, I'll type it in and I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. And uh, yeah, it's really simple. It's just one line of code. Again, this will be in the description, so copy that as well. Um, but basically, we're calling audio services again, and we're telling that to play system sound. But this time, it's going to be in the brackets. Instead of our sound ID, it's going to be K system sound ID vibrate. So that's using the same kind of method as this, but this method is already built into the iPhone and Xcode. Uh, so that is as simple as that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead now and open up my second viewcontroller.nib. And uh, I'm just going to add a button and connect that up. And uh, I'll be back in a minute once I've done all that with the iPhone loaded. And I'll show you it playing the sound. Uh, so see you in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back and um, as you can see I've got the simulator here and uh, the reason why I just sped up my doing my interface builder because it's really simple, it's basically just putting a button in and connecting it up but I still wanted to see that I was doing it uh, just for added effect of the tutorial. Um, so if I click play here, you see our sound plays and um, we would also see that uh, the phone vibrate if this was actually the phone. Um, but as you can see, I can do it as many times as I want, and the f it will just keep playing the sound. Um, so next tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to uh, pause, stop, rewind, um, do all sorts of stuff like that with this sound. Um, I might change the sound file to a longer one, uh, just so we can play around with that a bit. Um, so yep, don't forget, all links in the description for sound files. Uh, next tutorial should be here. Uh, code in the tutorial as well. Um, so thanks for watching guys, uh, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and see you in my next tutorial.